today we're, we're hosting an event in honor of Mental Health Day. We are expecting 500 runners and almost 800 participants. It's the largest run in this area. And we do so to dispel stigma and raise education and awareness about mental health. My name is Terry Jenkins. I'm the owner here at TJ Stables, but more importantly, I am the coordinator for the Exceptional Riders Therapeutic Riding Program, where children and adults with disabilities come to ride for recreation. Today, we are having a dog walkathon poker walk, and we call it Pooch Poker, and it's here at TJ Stables, and we're expecting a good turnout of dog walkers. Uh, Horses and dogs go together like peanut butter and jelly, so we want to make sure that uh, we can include our canine friends here at TJ Stables. We do have a dog boarding facility, so uh, it was just a natural fit for uh, these dogs to give a paw up for the, the Exceptional Riders, uh, Therapy Riders. We, it's a fundraiser for that group, and we have an overabundance of riders this year, so we thought we'd do a walk, a doggy walk, and uh, help the riders out to finance the riding. So thank you all for coming today, and happy trails. Helpful with such things as throwing out 
Eric's car and pumping everyone up before the race. His positive attitude gave Eric and his team the strength, affirming him to never give up. He did all he could to get his team back on track. Greg did not care who you were, where you were from, or what you did, as long as you were ready to race. Brett will always be remembered here at South Buxton Raceway. And tonight, in memory of him, we are partnering up with the Fight the Mind movement to support Mental Health Awareness Month in collecting donations through our Alder Pass at Indy Mission. Let us give genuine hope to and support to those who struggle with mental health in spreading awareness in a whole new way. Together we can make a difference. Let's get loud for mental health awareness. Pretty heavy. 
The last count was it's 8,000 pounds. She's on our Canadian National Bobsled Development Team and her goal is to ultimately go to the Olympics. So it would be pretty fascinating for y'all to be sitting in your living rooms in 2018 watching the Winter Olympics and saying, I watched that girl push a fire truck down William Street in Chatham, Kent at Rit Fest 2016. That was tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely uh, a good experience though for me because uh, when you think you can't do something and you accomplish it, yeah. it's amazing because it's very similar to being on the track and yeah. Yeah, when you're yeah. at the top of the track and you're gonna go down at 140 kilometers and you're not sure if you can conquer it, it just makes me, you know, uh, confident that I, I would be able to do it. You know, the, it's the community that makes uh, this happen and makes my success uh, happen as well. So it's amazing to see the support that Chatham Kent's giving me and pushing me forward as much as I'm pushing myself and my sled. To be the best I can be, this community is definitely rallied around. And